This is version number three of the wireless follow focus build. Check it out. Okay, so we have made a pretty significant upgrade since the version two build last week. Um, I was kind of waiting on this. I've been excited about this for a long time. Uh, we have added the Teradek RT Control 3 hand unit. We have three Motor X motors, an MDRX, and the TOF1 rangefinder. Essentially, we've made the jump from a prosumer or you know intro system to a real professional system with professional features. Features that are going to make uh, my job and your job as an AC, as a focus puller, uh, far more efficient and much, much faster. While I love the Nucleus, it's been great. Uh, it's a simple and you know easy to use system, but it's lacking some of those professional features that are becoming more and more you know the industry standard. So for now, the Nucleus is getting subbed out, it's getting benched, it's gonna become my backup system, and this is now the, uh, the, the one I'll be using the most. The RT system has all of those features that I was missing and needing to work on larger sets with more complex camera configurations. Now, I, I haven't had the pleasure of actually working with this yet. So, um, you know, I just got it. So I'll just kind of be rattling off some stuff from the website for now. But uh, once I get some real hands-on uh, time with it, I'll be making a much more in-depth video. Uh, but for now, I just simply want to walk through the build again and uh, kind of talk about what I'm excited about using. The big one is the small HD integration. As some of you probably know, Creative Solutions is the parent brand to Teradek Small HD and Wooden Camera. Uh, this has allowed Teradek and Small HD to work really closely together. They have four years, but now they're really, uh, really tying in all of their products together. So this allows for some for some really cool uh, integrations of their systems uh, for a, a far more uh, streamlined uh, workflow. So now our hand unit connects directly to our monitor uh, using this uh, five pin cable in here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's in there. Uh, this unlocks some really cool uh, features. We can go into our page settings here on the monitor and we can turn on our Teradek RT tool. This allows us to turn on the on-screen overlays showing us our focus wheel, our iris, our uh, focus distance, our depth of field, as well as this uh, blue uh, rectangle here showing us a visual representation of how, depth, how much depth of field we have. Uh, and then when the TOF uh, one rangefinder is connected, there's also a red uh, readout as to show us how far uh, whatever is in the center of frame is from the camera. So all of these features um, tied together in this one system is gonna make fo pulling focus uh, far more efficient and um, you're gonna have less errors and, and less retakes because of focus. Even the best of us uh, miss a shot or miss something uh, in the frame. So having all these tools as an aid is gonna make things a lot, lot better for us. We can also go into our, our, our RT tool here. Whoops. And we can, um, we can change what's actually being shown uh, on screen. So we can change the uh, what we see, we can change the opacity, the size, the placement. Um, so that's really cool. So you can kind of set up your page uh, of what you want to see on the screen um, in a lot more detail than, than maybe some other systems. This is extremely helpful for uh, focus pullers because now you don't have to take your eyes off the screen at all. Um, if you made uh, marks on your, your hand wheel, um, then you would have to be constantly looking you know, up and down, up and down, up and down, trying to make sure that you hit your, your marks. Uh, so now with this system, you don't have to ever take your eyes off the screen. So that's gonna make things, again, a lot more efficient and a lot uh, more uh, precise when pulling focus. So on our hand unit, obviously we have the focus wheel here, and then we have our iris slider. Um, you can tell on here as well, when we move the iris, the depth of field is being uh, changed as well, which is really, really nice. Um, and then we have a joystick for zoom, and then these two knobs here for uh, changing the speed of the zoom. And as you, when we change the zoom, you can see as well the, the depth of field changes with it. With the TOF1 uh, rangefinder con connected, it isn't right now, but uh, when it is, there is a little red readout here uh, to show us exactly how far away whatever it is that's in the center of frame is from camera. So that'll be a huge help as well. 
This is a huge feature uh, for me because I rarely have time to uh, get marks anymore. With the way that sets are run these days, it's very often that the camera will be floating around on an easy rig or something, getting shots, you know, kind of with little to no rehearsal. We're just kind of making it up as we go. So getting marks is sort of thrown by the wayside and it's up to me just to kind of figure it out as we go. So with the TOF-1, um, I now have a visual reference and another aid to, uh, to help you know, figure out what, how far things are from the camera. There will be situations where the camera will be pointed at something, but focus needs to be somewhere else other than whatever is directly in the center of frame. So I see this as something that can be very, very helpful while doing some of those run and gun coverage situations where I'm kind of just figuring it out on the fly. Um, another benefit is enabling autofocus using the TOF. Um, this is something I haven't really tried or tested yet, so uh, mainly because I haven't, uh, I haven't actually been on set with this yet and haven't worked with it, but that's something that I'm uh, very, very interested to see how that works and uh, in what situations it's actually viable. This is our MDRX. It is our on-camera receiver uh, for the hand unit. Um, it has a small LCD screen on it, so we can actually go in and make changes to our motor settings or our TOF settings uh, from the side of camera. Uh, it has three motor ports, two bus ports, power, and then uh, run stop. Um, it's pretty cool because we can make changes from the side of camera, we can make changes from the hand unit, or we can make change changes from uh, the monitor. So the whole system works you know, as an isolated um, system. So you don't need the small HD integration uh, or the small HD monitor to make the whole thing work, but um, having that unlocks, a little, unlocks some of the more advanced features like the on-screen overlays. Um, so if you don't have a small HD monitor, that's okay. You can still use the follow focus. Um, however, you're just gonna make things a whole lot better when you do have a small HD. Calibrating motors is now much improved with this system. Um, I can now save lens maps, which is something that I was uh, dying for on the, on the Nucleus. Um, so when we make a lens change, I can actually select the lens in the hand unit and it will automatically calibrate and sync up with uh, dis distance markers on the knob, which is, um, uh, one of those features that makes your job so much easier when you're on set. Creating these maps is probably something you don't want to do uh, day of shooting uh, because it is a process and you do need to take your time. Uh, so having a prep day or at uh, very least, you know, a few hours before the call time is really important if you want to take full advantage of uh, the features that this thing can offer. Uh, it comes with uh, a total of 15 focus discs, uh, five in feet, five in meters, and uh, five blank ones. If you have some kind of lens that, that uh, doesn't match up with any of the existing uh, discs, you can, you can throw in a blank one and actually mark it out yourself if you want. The whole build is now mounted to the Teradek monitor mount. Uh, so we lost our wooden handle. Uh, it does have a 3 8 uh, screw on the side here, so we could potentially figure it out. The wooden handle has a rosette on it. Uh, this is just a you know, 3 8 screw, so I haven't really worked out exactly what I need uh, to make that work yet, but uh, it's something we might do in the future. The hand unit is much uh, larger than the Nucleus. It's also oriented uh, to face up rather than to the side, which is something that I really didn't like about the, uh, the Nucleus. It does have a you know, somewhat of an ergonomic grip on the side here, I think on its own. Uh, without any of this stuff on here, it would be it'd be nice to hold and easy. But I think once you get all this kind of stuff on here and you're trying to run around with it, you know, with your hand, um, it might be a little bit tough and you might want that bigger handle on there. It'll most likely live on the stand anyway, so, uh, or on the cart, uh, one or the other. Um, I found that uh, last year when I'm using the Nucleus, I built it, you know, to do the handheld run and gun stuff, but I didn't actually end up using it all that much. It pretty much lived on the stand. So uh, I'm not too worried about not having the handle on there. Uh, just yet. I took the NATO clamp to 15 millimeter uh, from the Tilta build, the version 2 build, and I added it here. I was running into uh, a problem where the standard monitor mount uh, wasn't going to work with the small rig cage on the 702, so I pulled that clamp and replaced it with this one. Powering the hand unit, we use the Canon LP batteries. I happen to own a 5D and a 6D, so I have a ton of these LPs lying around. Um, I never really liked that the Nucleus run runs off of those uh, 18650 batteries. I don't know what it is. I, I don't really trust them. They seem volatile to me. I don't know why. I'm, I'm excited that Teradek decided to go with the LP, A, because I own a bunch of them, and B, I trust them far more than I did the 18650s. I'll talk about the mobile app a little bit. Um, much like the Teradek Bolt mobile app, uh, you can get all of your settings and control inside the RT mobile app. 
Uh, I found myself using the Bolt app a ton last year, and I don't see why that would be any different with the RT uh, app. Uh, you can configure and control motors, uh, controller settings, map and manage lenses, uh, run stop, and of course, update the firmware all from my phone. So this is something that uh, I love. I love that kind of integration. Uh, I found it extremely handy uh, with the bolts. And so with the RT one, I, I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll be using it quite a bit. Okay, so let's talk price real quick. Um, right now, the RT Fizz wireless lens control kit, uh, which includes uh, the hand unit, uh, the three motors, and the MDR, um, it, that is currently on sale for $8,000. And the TOF-1 rangefinder is $1,300. They are separate. The, the TOF is an extra add-on that you can do. Uh, so for a grand total of $9,300, significantly more expensive than the Nucleus system, I know, but we're not talking about apples to apples here. The RT system is a professional system with features that are expected at a certain level. $9,300 might sound like a lot of money, but really the next close to, closest equivalent uh, would be in a Preston or Aerie system. And those are more than double the price of the RT. So what's really amazing is that Teradek was able to deliver a lot of those same features as those other systems, but at a much smaller price point. And with the uh, small HD integration, the mobile app, and more camera control on the way via firmware updates, I would go so far as to say that this system really kind of beats those other systems because it's cheaper and it does pretty much the same exact thing as those. So uh, for me, this system is well on its way to becoming a industry standard. Okay, so that about does it. I'm sure I'm, I'm missing a ton of information, but I think I covered the big stuff, at least the stuff that I'm really excited about. Um, I really can't wait to get on set and start using this and get some real hands-on experience with it because um, you know I'm really excited. All of these features are gonna make pulling focus and doing my job as an AC um, a lot easier or a lot more efficient uh, and be able to be far more precise um, than I was before. I also wanna say thank you to Creative Solutions and Teradek for sending me the RT. I'm absolutely blown away that they would even consider me for something like this. So I'm very excited and uh, I'm very thankful for it. If you are looking to purchase any of this gear, there are links below. Uh, the Small HD and Teradek links are affiliate links, so you would be supporting the channel with your purchase. Uh, I would sincerely appreciate it. My family would appreciate it, but more so I'd be excited for you that you are taking the next step in your career and investing in yourself, investing in your uh, career and uh, investing and gear that is going to serve you for a very long time and also be able to scale with you as you grow um, in your career. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. See ya.